Well, we've left the, the, the lions lying up not too far from here. Now, quite often, when I found the Paradise Pride before, Scar or one of the other musketeers hasn't been too far off. So I just want to go check one of the river crossings and uh, look around the thickets uh, close to the river. Maybe, fingers crossed, there could be one of those big boys there. Remember, hashtag Safari Life if you've got any questions for us. Uh -huh. Now there's also a particularly large crocodile that lives at this crossing. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering whether the lions are at risk when they cross the river to the crocodiles. And of course they are. A crocodile is an opportunist. But the lions tend to cross in, in, in the rapids where it's a little bit shallower. Uh, and this year the river is very low. So they've got a good chance of not being snacked upon. Let's just have a quick look here. Just want to check on both sides of the river around these thickets because you never know if old Scar is lying on the other side. And let's maybe we'll get lucky and see the big crocodile as well. Now I have seen that very big croc in this area. time I saw him he was lying over here. Iwi is wondering when does the great migration start? Well it's in it never stops Iwi to be honest. Uh, it is a continuous movement of animals between Kenya and Tanzania and between the Serengeti and the Mara and I can't see any big crocs just yet. Let's keep checking and the first section of the migration have already crossed from Tanzania into Kenya around the Sand River which is about 30 kilometers to the southeast of us. Um, we have been there and uh, we have seen them, so we will be definitely heading back in that direction. Now, mostly consisting of zebras. Now, that is interesting. That is very interesting. Oh. Just want to be careful around here. Don't want to be too close. Sens, can you get that large hole? Now, I noticed a bunch of flies that came out of that hole. And those are flies are specific to one type of animal who's at home by the looks of things. And um, you can actually almost see there's a very narrow drain flows into the hole and uh, I would say there's an art fark in there right this very minute and of course once we get uh, all our nocturnal kit set up it's going to be very exciting because I think we're going to see a lot of art farks out here there are many of them and uh, once we're out at the right times of the day I think we're going to be very lucky in art farks okay Let's keep going up. Where are the crocodiles today? It's cold, you're supposed to be sun basking. Now, you've got to be very careful when you drive around the edge of the Mara River. Uh, it's a very active riverbank, so it's continu continuously collapsing. Or, so you don't want to get too close. Otherwise, you might join the migration feast. will be an early snack for a crocodile. Oh, there's a yellow-billed stork. Oh, he's going to go around the corner. Let me go back a bit. Oh, it seems all the crocs are still in the water at the moment. You got him there. Oh, there we go. Yellow-billed stork. And it's done a disappearing act. Hawkeye is wondering why are we in an open vehicle. Well, Hawkeye... It's much better to spot animals from. It's much better to film from. We don't have all the stuff impeding in your way. Uh, we do have a, a, a shade roof above us. There we go. So, um, and uh, open vehicles have been used in Africa for many, many years. Now, and, and lions and, and other creatures, they don't see the vehicles. See, there we go, we're all open all around us. Uh, as, uh, 
has anything that really is a major threat or attack to them. They're Vehicles have only been around for about a hundred years, or uh, just over, and uh, the lions do not have an instinctive response to them. So as long as you drive carefully and considerately, uh, and don't push the animals, uh, you can get very, very close, much closer than you would on foot. Now, of course, the bipedal figure of man has been the dominant diurnal predator for the last hundred, or now three hundred thousand years, and. 300,000 years, so there's been competition between man and lion. Lion is the dominant nocturnal predator. Is that a rock? Was that another lion? It's a rock. Um, and so, what are you looking at, parlors? Nothing. Um, and so, so on foot, lions during the day will run away from you. At night, they will eat you. So it is a very, very interesting thing. Now, of course, that's. Uh, Every situation slightly different, and, and you've got to read each individual situation. Now, I was really hoping for Scar and them. And now, someone was asking, is there any particular pride I would really like to see? Ooh, that's a good question. So, I've seen the Ridge Pride, I've seen the Paradise Pride, the Angama Pride, the Ololo Pride, the Sausage Pride, and it was James who was asking that question. The Ololo Pride. What other prides have I seen? seen the wrong Kai pride um, I think the, the pride I like most to see is the border pride which is down south um, very very big very big pride uh, lots of cubs lots of lions but they do move into Tanzania and I just really like that area around the Tanzanian border especially up against the escarpment uh, it, it's absolutely exquisite the acacias come down you got these big boulders that have rolled off so I think just uh, to see and that's why I like the sausage pride so much uh, is because they, they often use those boulders up along the escarpment okay well I, I don't think we're going to go back to the, the paradise pride they're lying just on the other side of this little thicket here and I don't think they're going to be doing too much and unfortunately this is the same area where the cheetah was in yesterday but with the lions around here I think that cheetah has made itself scarce so I think it might have moved towards the Mogoro River uh, where, where the junction with the Mogoro and the Mara River is so I'm going to head back that way see what wonders await while we do that it seems like unfortunately Tingana has given Taylor the slip.